Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 6th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do. We're going to start out right away here looking at space weather for the past 48 hours. Having a look at our sun as it did produce two M-class solar flares and multiple C-class solar flares over the past 48 hours. Yesterday, duly noted, one of them M-class solar flares, now the other one is in these images. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, so this is cresting in normally on the left-hand side of our sun imagery. So left side would be the south right side being the north big plasma filament dancing around the surface we've seen lots of solar prominence recently makes you wonder what our sun is doing and what it will be going through during solar cycle 25 a heightened solar maximum having a look at the last 48 hours multi-spectrum at the biggest events the past 48 hours Incoming sunspot produces two M-class solar flares. We've also got this big coronal hole that is Earth-facing now. We are expecting the space weather impact just after we got impacted last night and the night prior. Heads up, because we could see some more northern lights tonight, as we are still under a geomagnetic watch, G2 level. Having a look at 171 angstroms here at four sunspot regions that are Earth-facing right now. Two of them, very complex. Big black hole there. And then the other one producing two M-class solar flares. You can see those flashes in the images here. Current space weather conditions, as I said, we're under G2. Moderate geomagnetic storm impacts are expected. Solar winds are coming in right now at 491 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux pointing out here all of the events yesterday and throughout the day today. At least six C-class solar flares and two M-class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to seven and it will be hopping up again tonight. Looking at the Aurora forecast for tonight and last night. This is showing last night and then coming around tonight into the sixth or into the seventh. Not as intense as last night, but definitely an impact is inevitable. And some amazing imagery on Facebook. If you have me on Facebook, please check me out. Mike Milks on Facebook or Daily Events Worldwide can share some amazing photos there. Having a look at the the Space Weather Prediction Center spiral, still only showing that large plasma blast that affected us the past 24 hours. Look at the latest, the latest for ISWA, showing a CME taking off towards Venus. Nothing thwarted our way, but we do have the coronal hole wind stream. And then a little bit of space weather activity in the long range. Having a look at LASCO 2, showing the last 48 hours of imagery right after that M-class solar flare. Did produce a CME, but not in an Earth-directed fashion. But that bright flash right there, that is the M-class solar flare. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's pretty quiet. Still under 200 earthquakes according to USGS around the world. And there are other sites that do report earthquakes and I use those also. Still minor swarming continues through Iceland. But looking here on the map, 5.3 there, Solomon Islands, Fiji rocking over 400 kilometer depth earthquake that is the deepest past 24 hours. Nepal seeing another large 5.3 earthquake multiple people affected there last time so heads up 5.1 earthquake there south indian ocean 5.5 mid-atlantic that is the largest the past 24 hours 5.2 south america 
Valparaiso, Chile. And then an interesting earthquake here, 5 point, or 4.5 Venezuela, rare place for an earthquake. 4.3 here, Alianza, Peru. Activity continues through Guatemala, multiple erupting volcanoes through the region. Kenyan Dam, California, largest across North America's soil, 3.4. And then Hawaii reporting a 3.7. Alaska, it's a pretty sizable activity today, 4.0. Larson Bay, Alaska, but no major swarms to talk about. And it's pretty quiet right now. And considering the current space weather conditions that we have been going through and will be going through, this is a heads up. Need to be ready, aware, and prepared. We could see a volcanic eruption in Iceland. We could see Kilauea wake up. Any one of these thousands of volcanoes around the world can wake up just like Honga Tonga did. So heads up. Stay aware and prepared. Let's have a look at the SO2 forecast brought to you by our volcanoes. Large eruptions at Ebuko, Russia. That big SO2 cloud is now penetrating North America and as well sweeping across the Northern Hemisphere, across the Atlantic Ocean to Europe. You can see that here in these models around the rest of the world. Big SO2 cloud sweeping across the Atlantic Ocean with that low pressure system. So acid rain is back. We haven't had acid rain, what, since the 80s and 90s? Back when they used to talk about it lots, but they don't talk about it much anymore, even knowing that we've had more erupting volcanoes over the past five years than we have in the past 20 Notable there, lots of activity through Mexico and Colombia. Lots of activity rolling across Ontario as well. Looking at satellite imagery as we had some extreme weather roll through. We had thunderstorms, lots of lightning strikes, windy conditions, ice pellets, and as well, lots of rain. We were out disc golfing today and we thought that it would roll north of us. But then this system rolled right over top of us. And luckily, there are gazebos throughout the park and pavilions. We were able to take cover. But still, a lot of people in Ontario will be talking about that storm as it ripped across Ontario. Looking at the current world weather forecast, low pressure system that just brought all this mess to Ontario is going to sweep up into the Atlantic provinces. Low pressure systems grinding up into northern BC and Alaska. And then long-range forecast, big high-pressure ridge, going to keep things dry across most of central and eastern Canada. Big systems developing off the west coast and as well in the Atlantic. Look at these low-pressure systems in the long-range forecast, both forecasted for Spain, France. Interesting, late-season hurricanes that will be heading towards Spain and France and Europe. Looking at Europe right now, we still have multiple lows coming through. Looking at extreme weather, 9th to the 11th, all through the Mediterranean, mostly Greece, but Italy will be affected as well. But yeah, those systems roar into strength and velocity through the Atlantic. So heads up and stay tuned for the daily videos. Having a look here at the rest of the world, Africa, daily evaporation, rains, intense system heading south of Madagascar. And as well, no major cyclones to talk about through the Indian Ocean. No major typhoons developing in the long range. Low pressure system here affecting eastern Australia. And as, and as well, a low pressure system south of New Zealand. Looking at the North Pacific, big low affecting Japan right now, and as well in the middle of the North Pacific Ocean, looks like that will be squeezed by two high pressure ridges in the long range, but possible typhoon development in the long range forecast. Nothing major though. But definitely, we've got snow coming across the Pacific Northwest and as well most of Western Canada. 
in the Atlantic provinces. Cold temperatures still funneling down. Long-range forecast showing some intense warm air moving straight up into Hudson Bay. Interesting polar vortex right now. Have a little browse at the shape of our polar vortex. Northern Hemisphere. As it has changed. Got a big low pressure system off the coast of North Africa. Interesting trade wind trade winds here. Now I'm gonna go to last year's map because the winds here, the upper level winds, are going the wrong way. Now let's go back. Uh, 2022. That's what it looked like in 2022 at this time, November 6th. And here it is now. See those winds? That way, this year. And that way, last year. So very strange indeed, going through all these changes, earthly changes together. And I want to thank you all for watching. I really love all of the support and love to this channel. Thank you so much for your comments. And as well, all the likes really helps YouTube recommend this channel to the world. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. Thanks for watching. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.